Hi, welcome back. This is April's update part two. As you can see, the tub is now fitted. The back of the land is pretty much done now. Um, no, let's have a quick look. As you can see, it's all bolted on. I've used M10 bolts rather than 38 UNF. I'm sure you purists uh, won't really like that, but there you go. I've got a little repair to do here. This is behind the number plate. So I can do that at a later date. I'm quite keen to actually get the landy back together and all up and running. As you can see, this is all done. These clamps, one of them missing. I've actually ordered another one, so that'll be here soon. So this is all done. So the bit I'm concentrating on now is the front. I've started undoing some of the nuts and bolts. There's a couple that have actually given me a bit of a aggro. I've done these two shackle bolts. They're nice and loose, they're coming out. Top shot round, that come out. Uh, this front one has been a bit of a pain, decided it doesn't want to come out or move. The one this side, that's, that's, that's on the move. And the drag link, as you can see, the rod ends, it decides it doesn't want to go anywhere. Brake pipes have been disconnected, shock on the other side has been disconnected. I've taken some of the brake pipes off, so I'm actually going to renew them all. The front bump, I suppose that's what we call it, has been taken off. It's sort of over there hanging against the wall. So, well, the idea today really is to get all the front end off, put this front on um, some sort of actual stands or prop it up so I can clean all the chassis properly, get it in paint, and start putting all the bits and pieces back together. Oh, the other thing I'm going to do, I think this is where the battery tray goes. I'm going to cut that off. I'm going to put the battery somewhere else. I don't really want it there. So it's going to come off. So the chassis again, on the front, looks in really good condition. I can't see any major problems apart from the one I've talked to you before, which is the master cylinder. I don't know if you can see it very well from here. But the master cylinder goes in there, but there's no holes for it to be bolted on. So I think this outrigger obviously is an original. Oh, I'll cut over there. Is an original, so as you can see by this flange here, that shouldn't really be there because the mat, the master cylinder mounts on the other side. Well, this is the uh, master cylinder I brought. It's a cheap and nasty Chinese one. It's obviously Chinese because there's no brand names anywhere. The only thing I did with it, with where the push rod is there, I took the original one out. And, the original, the one that came with it, took that one out. And I actually installed the original one. The main reason I wanted it was because the end, because the end, so the end goes into the brake pedal. You probably won't be able to see this very well because the light is shining on it. But all the brake levers, clutch levers, the pedals, the other one, I think it's a light, and the other bit for the clutch lever. This is the fault where the fulcrum is and the pin. So that's pretty much it, really. So the back's all done. Oh, the other thing I've got to do quickly is uh, this support here. This bit sort of goes in there, it's wobbles quite a bit. I might be able to stiffen it up by beating it out a little bit, to get rid of that dent. But in reality, I think what I'm going to do is try and straighten this bottom corner out a little bit, and I'm going to have to put a bolt through there and some sort of brace. I think it's the only way to go, really. So that's pretty much it. So, well, thanks for looking, and uh, hopefully, we'll see you again shortly. Bye now.